On today's landmark episode of the NES Pursuit. We miss pickup videos, by the way. They're, they're, they were fun to do. They're still fun to do. Riff, Ricky, and Gabo assemble at Ricky's house to sell a prized item that was acquired in the early days of the pursuit. It was a great pickup for 20 bucks. I actually think it might have been even less than that. Gabo challenges Ricky to a fighter game. Who will come out victorious? Yeah, it's really oh, good. did you just win? Once again, poor Ricky is left in the hands of his over-hyper friend. <laughs> All this time, I thought I'd given Ricky good gifts. I was wrong. And Riff makes way to a classic game store and gets the biggest score in the entire NES Pursuit history. You do not want to miss this. The next thing that happened is the kind of thing that every game hunter, game show, game chaser, game channel prays and wishes for. This is the NES Pursuit. Today is a bright, sunny, beautiful day, and I am heading over to Ricky's house because Gabo is coming over and supposedly buying something pretty cool off of Ricky. So I'm gonna make my way down there and go have a good time with my buddy. Beautiful, but it's hot. So Gabo's coming over today. But he's gonna buy my Sega Japanese Sega Saturn. You know what? It's gonna be a good day. I've been looking for a Sega Saturn for a long time, and Ricky told me he has a Japanese white one. Did you stop at GameStop? Mmm, mmm, yummy. The thing is, I don't know nothing about Sega. Probably need to call my friend, the real Sega Master, Tyler, the iRetro Gamer. What Tyler, will I do? Tyler, Tyler. I cannot touch it, but I guess it's soft, like Ricky. It's pretty soft. We're gonna have Gabba over. Riff's already here. It's gonna be a party. Do you like doing pickup videos? They're okay, I'd rather be out there, truth be told. Really? Yeah. But here's the thing for me, I like doing pickup videos. I enjoy the actual filming process of pickup videos but I like the overall end product of a Pursuit video. So Gabo gets here, and we, we head back to my room. I don't think I want to sell anymore. No? Oh, okay. I was, well, playing, I was playing last night. Really? Nah, so I, don't, fun. I don't believe you. Dude, I was playing that last night. It was fun. Ricky just showed me the console. The console is in pretty good shape. It's beautiful. Actually, first time I see a Sega Saturn, a Japanese one. And man, it's amazing. <laughs> what is the original box? This guy thinks I have an original box. No original it. box? Oh, this deal is smelling bad. <laughs> it's cool, I'll just keep it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've been talking with Ricky all week about a price he's gonna sell me the console. Uh, first, Ricky told me it's going to be how much? 20 bucks? 150. What? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs> and he told me 50 bucks. You say uh, 50. I did say 50. Yes, yeah. this is true. You say 50. So, you need that. So, here's the deal. Yeah. But you know, it's Ricky and, and Gabo, the giver. So, I give him 80 bucks plus a special surprise yeah. for him. I'm not going to give you 50. I'm going to give you 80. Wow. He's like, you know what? I'll do something better. I'm like, huh? 
He gives me 80 bucks for it instead. What a guy, nice guy. I'm going to give you 80. A part of that. Next thing I know, Gabo comes up, he's like, dude, I got something so cool from you. And I'm like, I, I honestly got pretty excited. I'm going to give you this and you're gonna love it. Gabo gives Ricky possibly the best gift I've ever seen him been given. Uh-oh. It's not only one, it's two. He busts out this like bag, I'm like, dude, what could that be? It's, it, it looks amazing. It's two, it's two. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> All this time I thought I've given Ricky good gifts. I was wrong. There you go. He opens it up and it's like two, not even nice carrots. They're, I swear he probably found them on the side of the road. It's <laughs> <laughs> like uh, if carrots had leprosy, that's what they would look like. Just went up to 150. I know, I'm the best. Why did it have to be such a like uh, ugly carrot? <laughs> so it seems like Ricky didn't like the carrot, so mm. Mm -hmm. I'm sad. It's not funny, it's not funny. <laughs> it was kind of funny. I got hard skin. Jay? Hey, I'm, I'm naked out here in a towel. Coming up, Gabo gifts Ricky a wonderful item. And make sure to stay tuned for the biggest find in Pursuit history. No. <laughs> I remember on E3, you was talking about this game that you was looking for. And on top of that, he throws in Shantae. Let's see if you remember. You are looking for this. Oh shoot, Shantae day one. On top of that, he gives him Shantae. Gabo, you do, you outdo yourself every time. You make us look like less of good people. Woo I actually been looking for this game for a while. I tried to get it at GameStop. It was sold out. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. Wait, this one's yours though. I don't care. You sure? Yeah, it's for you. But thank you, Gabe. You're the best, man. I'm so happy to try to play that game. And on the Switch. Wow. Choo -choo. I said 150 because of the carrots. <laughs> oh, don't kiss me, please. <laughs> In my mind, it's always 1994. So let's just stick with that. So I'm excited. We hook up the Saturn. We're starting to play X-Men versus Street Fighter. We started playing. I got his first guy out. Street Fighter versus X-Men? Yeah. Really oh, great. did you just win? Let me tell you something. I was sweating a little bit because he beat my first guy and that guy was Ryu or Ryu or whatever. Then I said, well, I cannot let this guy beat me, especially if we are recording. That's it. He sucks. I thought I had him. Let's switch controllers. No way. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't win. So Ricky, you suck, man. You suck. <laughs> I got nothing. We look like a couple creeps. Bam! Ooh, Mario Rabbit statue. Back in the day, well, when I first met Gabo, I tried to give him this little reused figure that I have, and he didn't want it. I mean, I, he wanted it, he just wouldn't take it. Man, oh, no, I didn't no, have that no, I cannot, I cannot, confidence no. or whatever, and I say, no, no. But on my way home, I was like, <laughs> but you didn't take it, what did you take? And I'm like, I'll give it to him one day. I got him something, actually I've had it. I've been wanting to give it to him because, you know. He told me he got a surprise for me. And look what he got for me. Oh, oh, oh my God. I knew I was gonna give it to him eventually. I was just happy I could give it to him. It's this cool reused figure that I've had for a while. Rip was there with me when I got it. Dude, Street Fighter, anything Street Fighter, Capcom, SNK, all that kind of stuff. 
It's golden. I love those toys. It's just something about them. I remember the day that Ricky bought that Ryu Street Fighter or Ryu character oh, over at Cape and Cowl. So for Ricky to have something he really likes as well, which I know he really likes that figure, to give it to Gabo as well, there's just a lot of love going on right now in the NES Pursuit. Really, Ricky? Yep. Really? Yep. Oh man, thank you so much. You're welcome, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> so, I'm happy now I got it. Too many competition, too much people. Oh, wait, hey, he got a hard skin. Deals at Ricky's house. Gabo and I have a little bit of time to spare, so we're gonna head over to Book Off just for a little bit and see if they got anything good. Let's go, Gabo! All I wanna do is jump a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Just shake it. Bye. Bye. Aww. Oh, he's really coming over here. Let's go. You guys stay away from my store. <laughs> That was very good, but now it's time to go to book off. See what they got, bro. So here we are at book off, a store we love too much. So we are here in Ricky's store, book off. And right away again, every time I walk in this place, I feel like there's tons of new stuff coming through the store, new toys, new games, new anime, new comics, and I am enthralled and feeling good and excited to hunt. So we walk in and we see old friend Stuart. Soft game, like Ricky. He's lying, I have really rough skin. <laughs> really no, soft. He works in the store, he's a pretty cool guy, and he comes to me with a couple of games. Your hand has the best, like, flavor, apparently. Someone told me this, you know. Cannibalism, good. I love that he does this, he is an awesome dude. And right away, he gets Gabo Medieval for the PlayStation, and this game was like $35, $40 when he walked in, and he's like, you know what, I was just in the middle of repricing. It's gonna be lower, like, Five bucks? Uh, it's going to be ten ninety nine. Really? Let me knock it down to you for ten ninety nine. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna check out the condition of the disc too. Oh, okay. Yeah. For ten ninety nine, pretty good price too. And I never seen that game in the wild before, so this is a good game. Gabo got the game for ten ninety nine. That's a steal. Bang! A dollar forty. Bang! Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would get this. So I'm into pops like Mikey, and I see the Raiden, the 8 bit one, the GameStop. Nice. And it's heavy for 7 bucks. Pretty cool price. Also, I found Wonder Woman for my wifey. She loves Wonder Woman. What are you gonna do? What are you doing? <laughs> We're walking around the store and I see this really interesting looking Mario <laughs> Japanese board game type of thing. What the heck? Super, new Super Mario Bros. It's like a Japanese place. Look at this, I have no idea what this is. It's $30, might not be a lot for it. I'm not really sure, but this is the kind of toy that interests me. It looks really cool though, but it's 30 bucks. I wonder what it's worth. I don't know what this goes for in any way, shape, or form. I didn't pick it up because I wasn't sure and I couldn't really find anything about it, but it looked pretty awesome. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> dum, dum. You like that, huh? Right after this break, Riff comes up more than he ever has before. Grab some popcorn and ready up. The next thing that happened is the kind of thing that every game hunter, game show, game chaser, game channel prays and wishes for. Oh, we know. haven't done anything yet. Okay. You ready first one? I'm standing in the store. Stuart walks over me and says, hey, Riff, come here. Someone just brought in a box of games. 
I don't really have the time to go through these. I want you to get first dibs on any of these if you want them. Check them out. Let's see, stuff that sticks out to me would be most of this stuff. And this guy, very nice guy at the front desk says, hey, these are my old N64 games, a lot of old other random games, and he goes, look through them and see what you want. These are all, so most of this writing you can normally take off on. I start looking through the Nintendo 64 stuff. This is not just some of the, it is the best titles on the Nintendo 64. I ask him, how much are these games? He says, if you wanted to give me six bucks, if you feel like that was a reasonable price, I'm fine with that. Because I'm just trying to get rid of it and whatever. That's more than reasonable. So he's telling me these games are six dollars each and I'm like, dude, I, I don't know what to tell you. Some of these games are worth a lot more than that. There's a lot of good games in here. A lot of great titles, a lot of the Zeldas, the Banjo, Kazooie's, the Mario Parties, the good stuff. So, Pokemon's, Kirby's. But what I want to do is kind of just gather everything I want, so I start looking through all the other boxes. This is, uh, yeah, but this doesn't. Okay, so that's different. This stuff. has controllers if you want them. Let me see. There's at least a couple. And then some N64 controllers, some GameCube controllers, some WaveBird controllers. So you have GameCube controllers, Nintendo controllers, WaveBirds, and I tell the dude, hey man, I want all this. How much? But So say I wanted to get here. I'll put the stuff that I, and I'm not gonna look at it too deeply. So I was watching Rifo doing, uh, checking the game that guy was selling to him. Dude, I was sweating. So many good games. You tell me, what do you want for this box? I don't wanna dilly dally around with prices. What is it worth to you to give to me and I'll give it to you. You tell me, whatever price you say, I will give you. What do you want for this box? He comes back with a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars for this box is nothing. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92. You have eight dollars, good sir. It's okay. I'll wow, take 90. 90 works. No, we'll give you 100. I want to make sure because there's okay. good games in here for sure. Right. It is a great, it is a fantastic deal. And I let him know. I know this is worth more than that. Dude, thank you. I appreciate that. We will, we will dive into this after. So thank you. Oh, here. Score. Biggest score ever in a long time. Thank God we needed this. We've been waiting for a score like this for such a long time. I'm texting Ricky. What just happened? Ricky, I'm so sorry you're not here. I'm not that sorry because it probably Ricky probably would have got him. I finally win. Riff finally wins. Finally. But I am so thankful and humbled I was able to get this deal. So I have to thank you for calling us over. I appreciate it. As soon as I saw you come in the store, I'm like, anything comes in? Gonna and it happened. Like as as we started filming, you're like, hey, come over here. Seems like a setup. Totally wasn't. Came in, I'm like, oh. It did seem like a setup, but it wasn't a setup. Oh man, I guess Ricky is gonna be is right now in his house, like eating a donut and like ooh, 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 ooh. Because Ricky is a very nice guy and a good friend. We're walking around the store, kind of cruising around. Stuart's being funny. He's showing us some of his jackets. He's showing us his Deadpool jacket. Custom painted jacket. Oh my God. You have to call me God, it's all right. Oh, I get that a lot though. Wow. I love Stuart probably more than I should a man. But that's okay. He then comes over and goes, oh, by the way, Riff. I need some books. Uh, the guy forgot to give you these and I get a stack of manuals. Thank you, sir. How much no are They're yours. They're from the thing you just bought. They're just underneath the other games, so I may as well just give them to you, right? Not just manuals for some of the games. Stuart hands me, voluntarily, every manual for every one of these games. My gosh. Oh my god, he just came to store and give us all the manuals for the games. Could this day go any better? I think not. This is the kind of score that like you see on other channels and you're like, how, why did I ever get scores like that? Finally, and we, we owe Stuart. There's no better way to end an episode than by getting something like this. And I'm ready for Lucky Charm. That's why. He's not gonna answer. I already texted him that we got a huge score. He's not gonna wanna answer. He knows I'm calling him to gloat on the phone, so he's not gonna wanna answer. 
I don't blame him. He doesn't want to hear it right now. <laughs> Um, it's official, actually I love this tour, so this is the end of the day, overall pretty awesome, I got a Sega Saturn. I feel blessed to have friends that I can hang out with and hunt with, it's fun to watch my friends trade their own video games, give each other gifts to get ourselves a ton of good games and a good way to end the day by getting a huge score surrounded by my friends, I am beyond appreciative. The score! Jay kissed me a little, maybe a little better than you did. It's like sugar water. That's the way. What? Ah. Yay! So much love in our show. We're a bunch of lovers. But it makes, and you know what, your hair right now? Not gonna lie. Pretty sexy. Wow. A long, long time ago, when I was born. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's better than I wish I was filming that. All right, go ahead. <sighs> Remember that song? Yeah. All right, Ricky. I got one more for you. <laughs> All right, open up big for this one. <laughs> Remember that song? Yeah. <laughs>